Hi, I'm going to make this a pretty quick video. If you have one of these portable DVD players like this that plays like RMVB, DIVX, um, some AVI files, <clears throat> of course MPEG2, um, but it won't play other files. If you want to put a lot of stuff on one of your discs, and I, I do have some blank discs here, they're not very good. But if you want to put a lot of stuff on a disc, the best um, format for that would be RMVB. <clears throat> now, RMVB is an ancient, literally ancient video format. The quality's okay. The sound's okay. Um, and you can fit a lot of stuff on a disc. Now, I'm going to go through and show you what I have on here. I have Demon Lord Retry Season 1. Each one of these is an episode. I have full amount of panic. Each one of these is an episode. I have One Punch Man Season 1. Each one of these is an episode. One Punch Man Season 2. And I have the OVAs. I should have got a little closer there so you can see what I'm doing. I have some of the old Mighty Hercules cartoons. <clears throat> now this is one of the really old, old cartoons. Uh, I used to watch this when I was really young. But of course this is from the 60s. And Thunder of the Barbarian. Now all of this is on one DVD disc. Now you're probably going, well, why would you put all this on a disc? Uh, it's very simple. If you don't want to waste a lot of money on discs, you can go with this format and you can absolutely fit a lot of stuff on a disc. Now I'm going to just start one or two things here I cannot let it play for long because of copyright hopefully I don't get one Thundar, the Barbarian. all right let's get there out of there and of course I'm still um, <clears throat> getting used to this remote So it's, it's hard for me to figure this damn remote out. There we go. Now this I probably will get a copyright. Hopefully I don't. I'm not going to let it play that long. <clears throat> the picture quality is pretty good. For such a small file size. Now, unfortunately, the camera doesn't pick up as well as it needs to be. Um, 
Let's go down here and get a different episode. Let's get one of the later episodes instead of just one. Okay, now, you're going, all right, if I have one of these systems, or one of these machines, how do I make a disc? All right, what you're going to need to do is find a very old program. I mean, RMVB hasn't been a thing since probably 14, 10, anywhere from 10 to 20 years ago all these are R&B format and you can see how full this disc is but this is the only format I have found where I can fit a lot of stuff on one disc that you can actually watch on this now the video quality is 320 by 240 so it's really low quality but if you have a, a bunch of kids or a child and you're going on a long road trip, you know, and if you have some disc or you want to make some disc for like backups to watch if the power's out, doing it this way, you can get a whole lot more on a disc. Now, the program you're ne going to need is... Zilly Soft Video Converter Ultimate 5. 5 is a very, very old converter. I mean, it is ancient. But it does support creating into RMVB. As you can see, I got some stuff going here. And it's 320 by 240. So, if you have one of these, and you have a kid, and you want to make a disc like this, also, what else you're going to need is a burning program. Now, I have an old version of A Shampoo Burning Studio. Now, this is six. And then what you do is once you create your RVB files, put them in their folder that they go into. Uh, what I do is I just delete everything that's in the folder. And this goes into a different folder. Then I move all this back into the folder that it came from, basically. So I'm converting it. That's going to a new folder. Then I go to the old folder, I delete everything in the folder, and then I move the new stuff back into the old folder with, with the name on it. And you can get quite a bit of stuff actually on one of these discs. And then I burn it with A Shampoo Burning Studio 6. You can use any burning program that will let you just make basically... Um, uh, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, things like that. I also believe that these will read from a flash drive. I have tested that on uh, a different video. So if you have a large flash drive, you can put a whole lot of stuff on it. But if you want to put stuff on disk to like have it as a backup, this is the best format you can absolutely have for one of these right here. It is very small. It has a really decent picture. Now I have not tried anything live such as live TV shows. That may be a, a bit sketchy. I'm not sure. I will attempt that later on to see how well live TV shows look. They may be a little choppy, I'm not sure, because um, the video format is pretty low, 
but it does work excellent for animated stuff such as cartoons animated movies um, as you can see there's a lot of stuff on here let's see if I got the intro of this on here yeah I think I do nope yes not okay now you can tell this is really old. It isn't every girl who can invite Hercules to her birthday party. But the beautiful Helena is an exception. And of course, different quality for different videos. Because some of these are pretty old, like this one. Um, some are actually fairly new, some are decent new. Um, like I said, I don't want to get any type of copyright strike here. All of these are full seasons of something. Or as much as I have of it. Like the Mighty Hercules cartoon there. From the 60's. Um, the rest of these are full seasons. And I actually really like the theme song for Full Metal Panic. So. Um, Let's go down as far as we can go. 21 episodes on this. See, it's not a bad picture either. Let's see how loud this will get. Okay, like I said, if you want to create discs that you can put a lot of stuff on, literally just a lot of stuff, then RMVB is file format you need to be using. All of that on this single disc. And now this is a DVD disc, a blank DVD disc. It is a DVD minus R. But all those episodes on one disc. And that is uh, the program of Zillysoft. This is five. This is a really old program. You could probably find it around somewhere if you really look for it. Um, as you can see, I also have a shampoo burning studio here on this laptop. Um, any of the new video converters will not convert to RMVB. You have to find something at least 10 years old. This is one of the better programs that do RMVB. I mean, you really don't do anything here on the profile settings. And you can see I'm, I'm converting some stuff now. Now this converts from the highest to the lowest number. And you can see this is going to take quite a while. Um, what I have going on here. But you can set this up to convert anywhere from two at a time up to four. Or probably more than that. But I want to keep my current CPU usage pretty low. So I only have it converting two. Uh, you can set it to convert four if you want. And my CPU is only around 65 to 73% usage. So I'm not overworking the laptop. Yes, it does take a long time to do this on certain files. But, I am making all RM. And once I have a bunch of videos converted, I will make data disks. That's what these are, are data disks. They are RMVB data disks. And they play excellent on one of these 
pretty much any of these that play on a VB. So if, if you want to get by some blank disc and back up a bunch of stuff, especially to have stuff for like kids for long trips, instead of having five or six episodes on a DVD, you can create a DVD that will last literally for 20 hours worth of stuff. Uh, maybe more. You know, I, I really haven't counted it, but with all the stuff I had on here, there's probably way more than 20 hours on here. On this little bitty um, D blank DVD. Well, it was a blank DVD. DVD-R. Alright, I'm apologizing. I did not want to make this a long video. You will need two programs. A burning program. I used a shampoo Burning Studio 6. I also have Burning Studio 8, but I prefer 6. Um, I'm more comfortable with this one. That's why I use this one. And Zilla Soft Video Converter Ultimate 5. Now this is Windows XP. And this over here is Windows 7. Now you will have to have a full program, uh, something with a, a, a serial, a license key, something. Um, for this to work, you will have to have a full version of this program. Once again, I do have a full version. I have it with a serial, the, the license. Um, but you can go to places like... Um, Oh, crud, what's the name of that? Um, maybe for shared, I think. Or Internet Archive. I believe you can find this on one of those sites. Just make sure you get one with a serial or license or whatever to make it full version. This is five. I also do have six. But I prefer using 5 because it, it's, for me, 5 works better creating RMVB. Alright, I'm fixing to go. But once again, if you want to make a, a lot of stuff on a disc, you saw the quality. It's not that bad. It does get pretty loud. And that is real media, video, RMVB, or RM files. Um... I'm converting stuff here. You can tell this has two seasons to it plus OVAs. I'm not going to say what that is. Um, but yeah, if you have kids and you have a long trip coming, this does take a while to convert. But once they're converted and you got them burned on a disc, I mean, you have... I had one, two... I think five different shows on here, um, and one had like two seasons, uh, so that's quite a lot of stuff on a simple blank, you know, that I burned myself, a, a DVD. Alright, anyway, I'm fixing to go, the best video format for these are RMVB, to find or create RMVB, you need a video converter that will create to RMVB, nothing new, nothing within the past five years will make RMVB files. You have to find a program probably 10 to 14 years old. And if you find a program like Zillisoft Video Convert Ultimate 5, um, I believe if I recall 6 does it too. It's basically the same thing, but I prefer 5 because the real media codec in 5 is a little bit better. The picture just looks better. The sound sounds better. So, like I said, I think you can find this program possibly on Internet Archive or uh, for Shared. 
and make sure you get one that you can have a full version to. Make sure you get burning software such as a shampoo or uh, what was the name of that? Uh, oh crud, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it's not Norton. I think that's the antivirus. Uh, I'm sorry, I just can't think of the name of it. Uh, a burning program. And that's it. I'm fixing to go once again. Um, it's Zilla Soft Video Converter Ultimate. And something like a shampoo burning studio. It's what you need to create these discs. To put a bunch of stuff on a blank. And this does play straight where you put the DVDs in. The sound is good. The picture is good. Depends on your source file. You can see the old Mighty Hercules cartoons were not that good because they were like made in the 60s. But everything else looked and sounded perfect. It was great. Even the stuff from the 80s, which was the Thunder, um, that sounded looked great, sounded great. All right, I'm fixing to go. I apologize. This video is long, long. <clears throat> if you need a program, um, to do this or would like to do this you can contact me in comments I will see if I can find it for you and possibly point you in the right direction because finding programs that are anywhere from 10 to 20 years old it's a little bit difficult to do once again this program these do work on Windows XP they also work on Windows 7 now I'm not sure about anything newer Hopefully they would work on Windows 10, maybe even 11, I'm not sure. Um, but like I said, if, if you have one of these, you're probably still running Windows 7, possibly 10. Alright, but that's it. I'm fixing to go. I apologize for the length of this. Um, once again, Zillisoft, X-I-L-I-S-O-F-T, Video Converter Ultimate 5. Make sure you don't get a new one. Make sure you don't download a new one. It will not create RMVB files. You need a older program to make these files. To make RMVB. Alright, that's it. I'm fixing to go. Everyone have a good day. Bye.